What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I've been doing another Destiny 2 video and today I want to talk about the Niobe Labs. And well, the joke is quickly become. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support, you can by hitting that like button. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so yesterday was weekly reset. How many of you have actually logged in to have nothing to do? Yes, best weekly reset ever. So the Niobe Labs was released. This kind of single room puzzle where you have to do similar things to the Forge secret emblem unlocks by shooting certain images and numbers or letters in a particular order. Here it's basically the same thing, but you have stages of a boss who you have to take down to a certain amount of health. Then you have a code to crack. Each code basically unlocks the next stage. At the moment, people have got up to, I believe, five or six. Thing is, when you die, which is inevitable, you then have to start back from phase one, redoing all these damn codes. Bungie, upon weekly reset, made it clear that as soon as this code is cracked by any single fire team, the Berguzia Forge will be unlocked for everybody to take part in. Now, I attempted this in a fire team for a little over two hours. We basically got up to where everyone else did at that time, but we quickly gave up as the codes to crack were getting more and more ridiculous. It is now at the time of me recording this, 10.30pm the next day, meaning this still hasn't been cracked almost 20 hours later people. This has taken longer than most raids I remember, but this isn't a raid, this is a single room activity. Good job people ain't claustrophobic, I'm telling you people. And the thing is, people still haven't given up, props to them, that is for sure. Now I was watching Gafali and Glad and a few others last night after I had given up and it literally got to the stage where most looked like they wanted to die. Now for on weekly reset I expected a stupid long quest line like the others yes not to be waiting on masterminds to crack this impossible code before any of us could actually play new content 20 hours later that in my opinion is not a joke. Look at this from Bungie on Twitter, a dude by the name of jrunk 21 telling the truth in reply to Bungie stating the Nairobi Labs is waiting for us to discover. Bungie then saying it's designed for anyone smart and brave enough to attempt it. What a joke that is. Yeah, for sure Bungie never actually said the new forge would be arriving upon a weekly reset. That was never promised, but they did promise something new in the Nairobi Labs. This most thought was going to be something new and something we all could take part in, but it's clearly being put in place for a certain set of minority while the rest of us the majority sit and wait there's absolutely no way the average joe would crack these codes guys let's take a look at just one of these puzzles where people have related to and needed to unlock these new phases look at this i mean what even is this crap i mean what how if but this is just absolutely nuts i mean what even is this clearly something the average joe would have no idea about and this is the problem with the Nairobi Labs. It's a feature put in place for the minority while the majority sit it out. This isn't a way in my opinion. I've actually loved these forges and farming those perfect road weapons. Yes, some things could be sorted, but for the most part, this is what destiny is to me. I don't know what Bungie were thinking with this. The whole Nairobi Labs event did not at all feel like an event for us all to take part in. To me, it felt like an event where we'd have to watch it unfold before us, where we couldn't do anything to help progress. That is how it felt. There are hundreds of ways this could have been better. To list them off would be silly, but I'm pretty sure everybody has at least one way this could have been better. But hey, Bungie doing what Bungie think is best. Now I've seen people say it's like a raid, people have to crack this, crack that. In my opinion, no it ain't. The fact that this is tied to a single room makes it even more tiring, more boring and crazy stupid. With raids, it's majorly different as for one, loot is unlocked along the way. People are never usually trapped to a one system room the entire process and ultimately, raids are never ever this hard to crack. The last thing I remember that was this crazy was the quest for the Outbreak Prime, but that was more of a community effort than this. This is like a Discord of 20 people, all cold breaking while hundreds of thousands of people sit there and watch and fall asleep. This is not how the Neobi Labs should have been introduced. 
this is the kind of puzzle I'd expect to find a new exotic lock behind. I mean, maybe that will be the case. I feel after this code is finally cracked and the sequences have been unlocked. And the Bergusia Forge is open to all. Maybe this place, the Niobe Labs, will indeed be a part of a secret quest line. Or even better, it will fade away and be forgotten about. And Bungie will learn that dropping things like this in the future, especially with it locking content for the majority, we don't see anything like this again, unless like I said it's a part of some massive questline for some epic exotic. That way at least people wouldn't have to sit and wait on this to be cracked before new content would be released. Props to everybody though still trying to crack this code, you guys are fucking warriors. I feel like most, Bungie have just made a big mistake with this. I mean it isn't a major deal that's for sure, it isn't the end of the world either. But it is one people won't forget and will be added to the CV of stupid things Bungie have done in the past. But guys, let me know what you think about this whole Niobe Labs scenario. I mean, I know for a lot of people it's entertaining to watch, but if you are a player expecting new content where you have to sit back and you can't take part in unlocking that content, how do you feel about that? 20 hours in guys and it still hasn't been cracked. This is just absolutely crazy. And on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, hit that bell button to turn notifications on. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.